Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to make use of record triggered flow to send Slack message. If you have a requirement where you wanted to send a Slack message from Salesforce, then we can make use of record triggered flow in Salesforce. The record triggered flow will be triggered whenever a record is created or updated. And in the flow, we can make use of send a slack message element so that we can configure and send a slack message. For this demo, I have created a simple record triggered flow on the case object. Whenever the case is closed, it will send a slack message. So here I have a condition, a record is created or updated on the case object. If it is is closed equal to true, only when a record is updated to meet the conditions requirement. And I'm also selecting include a run asynchronously path to access an external system after original transaction for triggering record is successfully committed. Why I have selected asynchronous path is just for making use of Slack notification. I should not uh, stop my uh, case update or commit to the database. Since it runs asynchronously, the record update will be done. The flow will be executed and then this will run asynchronously so that there is no uh, tie up with the same transaction. If this lack message fails for some downtime or any other uh, issue with the with, uh, uh, invalid credential or authentication, then my case should be updated. The, update, the Slack message is not very crucial uh, to me here. So I'm using run asynchronously path. In the asynchronously path, I'm using send the Slack message action. I'm using service cloud for Slack app. I have selected the workspace. I'm going to execute as Slack app. I'm sending the message as case is closed. Record ID is case ID. In order to get this Slack channel ID for the Slack conversation ID, you can go to Slack. You can go to the workspace. You can go to the channel. Use get channel details. If you scroll down, you should be able to get your channel ID. You can use this copy icon so that it will copy it and then you can use it in your Slack conversation ID. Before uh, setting up the flow, make sure you are familiarized uh, with uh, Slack for service. Do all the steps, set up users, uh, complete all the steps. Check, my, um, check the video description. I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get some uh, guidance for setting this uh, initial Slack setup. Once this is done, create the simple flow. So I'm going to close this case now. Okay. I didn't select the status properly. So I'm saving it and setting it to closed. So it sent a Slack notification. So if we reopen or clone the case, let the status be new. I am going to close this case again. It sent another Slack notification. You can include case number, case description and uh, additional information uh, when you send a Slack message uh, from Salesforce flow to the Slack. Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get some guidance for setting this up. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.